Happy New Year! Welcome to 2021. Right now, we all need hope. Most of us have had a difficult year. Some of us have had a successful year. But regardless, the majority of the world has been in struggles. And in those struggles, there is growth. There is love. There is patience. Much more mental illness has been exposed this year, last year, in 2020. My biggest wish and my biggest hope for this new year of 2021 is for those to feel more at peace with health, with happiness, with wealth, with family, seeing friends. And one of the many most important love languages that we need for us to feel loved, which is physical touch. Without the presence of hands-on physical touch, we don't have the presence of nurturing, especially to our youngest children. All of us have been affected in one way or another with, this, with these COVID times. The coronavirus has really significantly impacted our economy, our friendship, our connection, our business, and the very things that make us feel like at home. Some are lucky that they have family with them who live with them housemates, roommates, friends. No matter how tough things get, we know that we have each other at these times. Whatever happens, during this new year of 2021, 2021, can you imagine that? Many years ago, 20, over 20 years ago, we just hit the millennium. And many things have changed since then. The internet is here to stay. It's connected us, given us information, connectivity, enabling us to have access to, to online jobs and platforms of social media such as this, where I'm sharing just some emotional stuff that's taken place. Right now, we need hope. We need hope for this new year. We need leaders. We need people who have the answers. And sometimes, as much as we are in a place where we seek answers and we're getting a little bit of help, then sometimes we don't get the clarity that we need. I felt this in my body for a long while. My guides, non-spiritual friends, non-physical <laughs> non friends, they are spiritual. Um, they told me about there was something shifting back about a year and a half ago. They told me, stay where you are, stay in the country. You know, look for local work. And I followed it. I didn't know why at the time. And then a few months later, then all the pandemic started. It was a lucky time for me in that way because I had been successful with my, my retreats and my workshops, but then things started to get smaller and smaller. And it's been the first year in many years that I haven't hardly done any group work, no retreats. It's been quiet, quiet in that area. But in that solitude, in that time of me being very much on my own, I was able to connect with some amazing new people in my life who I love very much, who have shown me their love. And it's not about the quantity of friends in your life, it's about the quality, and we've all heard this before. It's about who really makes an effort to really show up in your life. And this has all comes down to the basic 
thing of life is love and family. And even if friends can be deemed as family, then they are. I mean, when families start and they have children, though that mother and the father, they are from different bloodlines. We hope. <laughs> Sometimes things happen. But those are two different bloodlines, two friends coming together to make more than friendship, to make love, compassion, family. And then from that, they have their offspring, you know, their younglings. And all, all life stems from being nurtured. And my heart, my love goes out to those in these current times. We just passed Christmas. It's the new year celebrating. And there's many people now on their own. Reflecting back five or six years ago, when I had a downpour of my life, when I went into a dark space of, of sadness, um, the one thing, living thing, that really made it all better was having a dog. A dog called Obi Gon Kenobi. Such a beautiful soul. Sit there with me, listen to the gong. So if, you, if you're watching this and you're feeling lonely, then get an animal, get a pet. Don't rely on social media because that physical touch, that presence, that interaction is something that just keeps you smiling. And I miss him so much. I had to take a big leap of faith back that time in my life, which was a different me. The start of my, the, the beginning of my gong journey and doing more, more retreats and stuff. It was a very difficult situation. I had the opportunity to go to London and, and have a job, surrounded by people, surrounded by what I love doing. At the same time, I had the choice of doing that and giving my dog at the time a new home. How much of a horrible decision that was, I knew that it was right for both of us. I was, I was single on my own, I had no help. And as much as I hated to do it, I knew that he would go to a family which needed him. You needed their love and they were very grateful. And that was one of the most difficult things I had to do. And I wish I had never have to do it again. But really, like, for me, having a dog around at those lonely times really made things good. And I wish I had the time last year in 2020 to have that man's best friend again. So if you're struggling, if you can adopt an animal, because adoption is, it doesn't cost anything. However, if, however, whatever situation you're in, if you have the time, then do it, because I think no family is complete without a dog. Dogs are important. This is something I'm reflecting on this year, like, yeah, next year, I don't know maybe have my own place and have a, you know, have a dog with, um, you know, my partner. And that'd be beautiful. But right now, my wish, my heart goes out to all those that are suffering, who have lost people during last year of 2020. 2020 is supposed to be a, a time of 2020 vision, of new beginnings, a, a good new number. And we shouldn't dwell on the negative. We should focus on the positive because Everything in life, we evolve. We go through an evolution of technology, of time, of change. And no matter how bad things seem to be right now, that life is always evolving. It's like out with the old, in, in with the new. And now many businesses are, you know, have to, you know, probably save more money. People being at home, people being at, working from home if they can and they're with their families. But then a lot of jobs have been lost. The whole world is in a very difficult times. Speaking to um, some spiritual friends of mine in contact with spirit, they're saying that they're seeing some of their guides being very tired and almost drained because the spirit world needs so much help. So many people are in pain. So many people are reaching out in, in help. We need hope. And that hope comes from each and every one of us. It doesn't come from just one person. We all do our part to be positive, to know that these times, as much as they've been difficult, 
and frustrating that we can't see the people that we love, we cannot travel, we feel that we are trapped. However, look at it as a spiritual opportunity to be happy with your own energy, be content in your own space. And with that comes a lot of love. So my wishes for this new year, 2021. <laughs> I keep, I just remember I keep saying it's the same every year, isn't it? You keep thinking, oh, you keep saying the previous year when it's actually 2021 now, 2021. Wherever you are in the world, maybe this is much more time gone by and you've just watched this, maybe it's January something or sometime in the year, it doesn't matter. I just hope these words help. I've got some lovely messages recently of some videos I recently posted and people, I had a number of people message me saying thank you for, for the words, you know, the understanding. It's, it's me doing my part of reaching out to you and connect um, because it's important to do that. It's important to feel like we're not alone and those of us who are very sensitive, who are very empathic, psychic, sometimes vulnerable, but we're finding our power, we're finding our promise, we're finding our purpose. We are learning always. I just hope that this new year creates a better space where we can hold hands with friends, we can hug them, we can see families, we can travel and we can continue in a new world where things were similar to the way they were before, but hopefully better. My best wish to you all, I hope this reaches out to, to you right now, listening to this, and Happy New Year. Until next time.